hello and uh, welcome to this demo so um, in in our entire development process um, we do configure our connection strings our connection managers etc but uh, when we start deploying this to our production environment these connection strings might not be the same so it's a good practice to make these configurable so that's what we'll be doing in this demo so there are various ways of doing so you could store the configurable elements in an XML file or pick it up from an environment variable etc. So what we will be looking at is a very simple demo in which we will be having a Excel file and we will be taking data from it and pushing it to a database and all configuration sections like connection strings etc would be actually stored in a XML file right so let's just fire up bids so I'll create a new project and I'm calling this as configuration <coughs> I click on OK so we have our project ready over here so let's go to the data flow and play around with this we'll drag drop a excel source we'll drag drop a OLADB destinations destination task okay so i need to configure this i'll right click edit and for now i'll just hard code these so we have demos files db to excel and i'll choose as microsoft excel 2007 click on ok and if i look at the columns these are the columns that is exposed by the excel file and similarly i'll have to configure the destination so i'll have to just connect this first right click on this click edit and i'll choose my data connection i'll create a new table i'll call this as say configuration So if I look at the mappings, you have the input column that is mapped to some output columns. So our basic setup is ready. So now comes the configuration part. So if you click on SSIS menu and click on package configurations, a small wizard pops up. So I'll enable package configuration and click on add. So this is where you start configuring your configurable element section. So I'll click on next and in the configuration type you will find a number of options. One is an XML configuration file, second is an environment variable and so on and so forth. So for now let's um, take the XML configuration file. I need to actually store this somewhere. So I'll store it in configuration folder it also gives me an option to uh, store it in environment variable so the configuration location is basically stored in an environment variable you could actually create an environment variable and after that it would be listed over here for now let's go ahead with our XML file we'll click on next and here it shows me the <coughs> available objects that should be embedded in my XML file so for now I'm just choosing my connection managers since that is the only thing I have in my package right now that has some configuration elements so once you click on that and click next you're almost done so I'll just give it a name and click on finish so I'm going to close this and I'll just debug this package so the build succeeded and if we run this package we'll have about 16-17 rows getting transferred so it's 16 fine but the important thing is if you 
navigate to the folder that we just created you will find a dts config file over here let's double click on this and you will find all your configuration settings getting stored over here so you have your um, connection string you have your other properties getting stored over here so you have your OLA DB connection string so this is the place where all your configuration elements is stored so you can very well edit this so in our later demos we would be talking about how to deploy your packages so at that time you need to think about these configuration files also so you need to ship these files along with your package when you are deploying this so we'll be having a very small demo in our later sections uh, as to how to ship your configuration configurable elements along with your packages so this was pretty much it so this is basically a demo in which you are storing your configurable elements in an xml file so that's pretty much it thanks